What's up y'all? I'm Ryan and it's so-and-so farms. Good morning. We are um, getting ready to harvest. <clears throat> we have worked a bunch of ground like you've seen in the past videos um, for next year. We're gonna try rice in a few days. Should be dry. There's some people around us cutting that actually planted after us but a lot of that matters on when you get your water started anyway but uh yeah we're doing a little more ground working we got a part-time guy who's doing some of that and we've been going through the combines so we're gonna head down to the shop and see what they got going on that tree down as you can see rice has changed colors beans are starting to change colors um starting to get some 50 60 70 degree mornings not so much we had one 50 degree morning but other than that 60s and 70s fall is upon us a lot of stuff going on we got this tractor heading over to the next county to get some groundwork we're working on a header trailer right here for the 630 draper header we just got. Not just got, but got this year. Just got over here to where we got the Kelly Park. I'm walking around checking some tires and things here. Looks like everything's in good shape. Oh, Purdy, you recognize from the other videos. Here's some of the fields we land planed and they got some rain on them, but you can tell that they're drained good. They're holding a little water on the tail ends, but that's okay. We'll hold water there anyway. Um, everything looks good on the Kelly. Jordan should be coming up the gravel road over there. Get him hooked up. What we're about to do with this, we've been land planing all the ground, either with the Kelly or with the regular little float land plane, like you see over there. That's not ours, but it gives you an example of what I'm talking about. We've been either using the big purdy land plane or the float land plane getting a lot of this ground slicked up and uh we're gonna take the kelly since it's rained and packed everything in and we're gonna scratch some dirt back up that way we can start land planing again
Got the old 9300 and the Kelly tuned up, dialed in. Kind of see what we're doing here. Um, we had already disc this, turboed it. We're gonna land plane it. There is a little more rice straw on there than I ideally would like, but it's all dried out. It will slide through the land plane, but you can see everything's hard and crusted over. So the land plane is not gonna have anything to grab. So what we're doing with the Kelly, basically just coming and loosen it back up. And along the way, it's sizing up this rice straw, chopping it up into finer pieces. So what will happen, where we've gone over this, this will air out, loosen up. The ultimate thing that we've got to get done on this field is land planting it because it had levees in it before and we're just trying to get it all in good shape. We want to start on a good fresh slate over here on this new field. Yeah, looks like we got this thing dialed in and we need to go find us another job to do it. Thing's moving a whole lot more dirt than what you realize when you first look at it. Kelly is probably my favorite tillage tool. Yeah, I like it. I like the way everything's worked. Go find myself another job to do. At some point I'll have to, there's about 80 acres here. 20 acres down the road he's going to do then we're going to move to the hills and we got a little bit to do there where i got the tractor stuck that tractor scratch all these up and then uh, we've got if you've watched previous years we got some ground in the hills that's uh, non-irrigated we weren't able to plant it this year because of the it got wet so we're going to go up and pull the kelly on it tear all that old vegetation up and then we're gonna be land planing we're gonna let jordan land plane in the background while we're cutting rice well in true ryan fashion i did a whole lot of things and forgot to record them so here i am after i spent a lot of time hooking the bedder up bed and ground this is some ground that we land plane and we're gonna row rice next year and uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing. I didn't take any footage of me getting the better together or anything like that because that's what I do. I'm a YouTuber that forgets to YouTube, but it's all good. I got you now. Like a few rounds here finishing this field. Get lined up here. I couldn't turn as sharp as I wanted to because there was a mud hole over there. That's okay. Let's drop her down. So, that's what's happening. Pretty smooth riding. This is a field we did just a couple times in land plane. It's gonna work out great for row rice. I've said before, the advantage to the row rice for us is that we can manage more acres. There's lots of debates and preferences on row rice versus levee rice. Does it make as good yield? Who knows? First year we ever did row rice, it was our best yielding fields. Could have been a fluke. There's a lot older guys with a lot more experience that claim that it doesn't, and I'm good with that too. But I'm willing to give up that little bit of yield for the manpower and the labor that it takes to do the levee rice and the wear and tear on machinery. Like right now, we've got guys pulling out levee gates, um, busting levees, draining fields, so we don't have to mud our tractors up. The row rice, we went and tore down one levee. Some some fields don't have any levee. Some row rice fields we put one levee, but pull the bottom boards out, let it drain, and go cut it on the dry. Then we can burn it and go drill beans on it next year. So I don't know. There's, more than one way to skin a cat but the levee rice is becoming more popular here you don't have to go adjust gates all year long and hold floods and build levees and you lose yield on the levees too the levees are 12 feet wide and you're doing it a quarter mile at a time you know four five six seven eight times per field depending on how well it's graded but anyway it's a lot less work for us more, more manageable to go by flip a switch start a power unit and water it i don't know 
right, wrong, or indifferent. That's what we're choosing to do. been a good amount of rainfall lately so it's not super dusty I really wanted that rainfall before I came and started bedding all this you start doing this dry when the dirt's all powdered up and your beds will never hold <clears throat> ideally to do this when there's good moisture if we were planting right now this would be perfect planting conditions uh, but in fact we're fixing to start the combines up in a few days so we're not planting we're just getting this ready for next year it'll grow up through the winter time or through the rest of the summer and fall and winter we'll come in hit this thing with a spray rig plant it and be ready burn it down in the spring plant it i doubt we'll have to rerun these beds worst case scenario if it gets a lot of rain and washes a lot of these beds in we'll come back and freshen them up if we got to but we're willing to take that chance to be this much farther ahead